Welcome back to the Tired Area of Hangar. This is Mike, and I've got a little bit of coverage, some more clarification, some more stuff coming out of NYCC, New York Comic Con. It's real exciting. Let's get right into it. So first off, we've got this display, this setup for the Earthrise, but it's kind of a blend between what we've gotten, what we're going to get, and it's pretty exciting. I also like the fact this display shows both modes of everything that's coming up, uh, answers a few questions that we had from the other day, and yeah, it's exciting. Let's get some better looks, and first off, I want to say thanks to TFW 2005 and Toy Art for these great pictures. So first thing I want to talk about is Wheeljack, and I think Wheeljack looks okay. Uh, not, I thought he'd look a little bit better, just kind of less kibble on the arms and those kinds of things, but he doesn't look horrible. He doesn't look too bad. I was a little bit surprised though when I saw kind of doesn't quite have the rounded chest piece, but you know that kind of carries over. In this picture you can also see Cliff Jumper there, and so he will not be a penny racer, so that question has been answered. But if you look at this design, I'm starting to wonder, is that going to be just repainted into Runabout and Runamuck? That's what it sort of looks like. Sticking with the Wheeljack, here he is in the car mode, so not quite space and not quite what Super G1, so sort of in the middle of a kind of a Cybertronian and a Super G1 look. So, you know, not bad, not horrible. Uh, I kind of would have liked a little bit brighter paint apps to it but still he doesn't, he doesn't look too horrible here here he is right here and it's just you know it's just kind of uh, what we're getting mainline here not the best figure not the best looking out of these that's why i started with him so let's roll into cliff jumper now i'm i'm guessing that they're just going to get three works out of this mold if not four if we get a bumblebee that looks like this but it really feels like they did Runabout and Runamuck, but then repainted and gave a new head and called it Cliff Jumper. That's really what it feels like here. That's my belief, but I might be wrong. I think I've been wrong once, twice, or a hundred times in the past. But what do you guys think about that? Look at this guy here. Uh, better, better look at him, and uh, he's okay. I mean, I think they pretty much nailed the head, though. That's that's pretty awesome. Uh, he's got that that obligatory giant cannon of his. And, you know, the last cliff jumper they made wasn't a cliff jumper. It was just a recolored bumblebee, and it was a legend size. This will be deluxe, so he's gonna be a little bit bigger. So, I still think it's pretty cool. I do wanna talk about Starscream. Uh, we wondered what he would look like, and Starscream's a little bit of a mixed bag here. The thing is, his upper body, looks good um, not 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 100 not great but good and the lower body looks the lower legs just look kind of kibbly uh they don't look like i would expect i i really they could have just taken the mold that they had from classics and upsized it i don't see anything wrong with that but you know maybe in hand i could do more with it than what we're seeing uh, maybe we could pop those side wings off Maybe there's stuff that we can do. Who knows? Maybe there's possibilities here. So, I mean, don't jump the gun. Don't get too upset. But as clean as the Tetra Jets looked, I was surprised to see this, to tell you the truth. So, uh, but still, all in all, it's going to be an interesting uh, upgrade. And going with the G1 jet, now that's really where it shines. The, the jet looks good. Um, I mean, that's, that's as G1 as you're going to get. I like that. I really do. And so, so you know, it's it's one of those mixed bags. But man, I like the jet mode. Maybe you uh, have your Tetra Jet in bot mode and this in jet mode, and it all works out in the end. So, but who knows what you think about this <laughs> Star Scream? So I'd say out of everything that we saw so far from NYCC, this is hoist is the second most exciting thing out of NYCC, I think it looks good. Uh, in fact, it looks a little cleaner than I thought it would. Um, I, seeing as some of the other offerings that they just revealed today, this thing is pretty darn clean. 
pretty super G1. I like it. The head, I don't know. I've just been looking at a Masterpiece version for so long, and I really haven't looked at Chug versions of Hoist. So, you know, I might have to look up some heads and see if, you know, is that really what the head should look like? But they've been nailing the head sculpts on all these seed figures, so maybe they nailed this one. I'm, I'm going to have to look that up, but I do like the way this looks. Uh, I, I am pretty excited for it. And I always, in my mind, thought he was just a little bit bigger than a Deluxe would be a Voyager, but a lot of people have been saying Deluxe is probably the right size for him, so I'll take their word for it. Nice, clean alt mode. Should be pretty easy to use, uh, to, to convert. Uh, looks like from this angle, there's a little bit of under kibble. The back, that, that back kibble part is supposed to be there as part of the character. But the under lower kibble, I don't know, you're not really going to notice that much. And really, with these main lines, we're not going to, shouldn't pick them to death too much. Here's the back of him in robot mode, and, you know, where else that stuff going to go? I am surprised about the hollowness in the lower legs, but from the front and the sides, you don't see it, and I think that's where it matters the most, and, you know, just can you live with it? I can. Okay, some better looks at Grapple, which I, I, I think we have seen. Grapple still is the best offering of this Earthrise so far. Just look how good he looks. Look how his his waist isn't like super wide to match the cartoon. He still looks good, but it's not super skinny like some of the third parties did. So I think it's just right. It's just the proportions of him are great. He looks good. He's got this shield armor thing, which you know I'm sure we'll learn more about that because they still use that shield armor thing with Optimus Prime. I'll show you here in just a second. And there's his face sculpt. I think it looks great. It looks awesome. The paint they used. I mean, they're not using a lot of paint. But where they are using the paint, it does look good. Here we go with more of the trailer. And you can see the you can see the grapple picture in the back. And then the extension off of the trailer. Uh, not 100% sure like why all this is involved like this. But uh, we'll get more details in the future. And better angles of the trailer and, uh, and and the mechanism inside the trailer, and then how I guess you can house all these blast effects. What all is going to be coming with blast effects? So pretty interesting. So different angles of Prime. So it looks super good straight from the front, and then a little bit to the angle. Still excited about this Prime. I still think it looks good. And and we're looking at you know now 128 different way to skin a cat or to transform an Optimus Prime. Looking at them from a little bit different angle there, and still, uh, I still think it looks great. I still think that this is the best uh, alt mode and bot mode from a Hasbro figure we've seen in a long time for Optimus Prime. We see more pictures of Iron Will here, and he's just in a different pose, different angle. Uh, definitely, you could see more paint apps than I really noticed in the first uh, promo pics. does look more metallic, like it was metal that's been painted. I think it looks good. We get to see an Astro Train, Astro Train, and we can see the inside of his legs pretty good that there's some opening and waffling in there. Uh, I think by at this point we've even seen videos about transformations of Astro Train. So, I mean, not much to say there other than like, when's he coming out? And we have just, you know, the old school first Siege figures. And we have side swipe here, armored up with some of these figures, parts, and pieces. Moving on to some of the other reveals that we got. Of course, we're going to get, this is the biggest one, Scorponaut, and this is the head. But not the head. The head transformed into the robot. Zarak, Lord Zarak. And uh, so we have a, a Mega Zarak, uh, which is Scorponaut coming. And kind of excited but you know I thought they would have shown a claw like I, everyone assumed a claw and it's kind of funny but during the presentation they pull the head off of Zarak there and and act like it's a huge big deal about a headmaster or Titan master but didn't Titan returns wasn't that like the whole gimmick for three years and then here we are two years later as if now that's a big shocker 
no, it's not a shocker. Uh, we would expect that at minimum. But anyway, still excited. Biggest reveal. And for those of you that like big bots and you cannot lie, uh, we have the Voltron, the Dive Rugger uh, vehicle Voltron. I like to call it vehicle Voltron. Dive Rugger sounds like too much work. But looks good. This thing should be coming out this month, right? So sometime this month we'll be getting it. Uh, there's the individual uh, different broken down pieces and components of it. And what well, I call it Diagram 15, there's 15 parts to them, is that right? And then here he is in the bot mode. You can see the box in the background, the packaging. It's uh, this, this stuff, this should be shipping soon if you ordered it. And this one is going to be uh, more expensive than the first SOC Voltron. And it's probably going to be pretty impressive. And the Lionbot. I assume this one's going to be slightly taller than the Lionbot. Kind of like the Miracle Metaworks was, but we won't find out until we get it, I guess. And here is the stand. And I want to point out, if you do buy the KO Fantasy Jewel, they don't come with a stand for all your weapons. So uh, the official does. Uh, this is something funny I want to point out. So anyway, there's some new updates, uh, some more information on what we've been talking about. And anything else that comes out between now and Sunday, I'm going to include in my news segment. Hope you guys enjoy. Let me know what you guys think. Like, subscribe. Tiger, hang around.